Have you ever been at the net and someone's rifling balls at you and you just don't know how to deal with the pace? If you don't know how to do this, this puts kind of a damper on you coming to net because you kind of want to avoid the net for fear that someone's going to hit the ball so hard that you can't deal with it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to deal with those balls, so stay tuned. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to deal with balls hit really hard with you at you when you're at the net, okay? Because this is a big issue, especially if you play doubles or singles. If you're coming in off an approach and somebody rifles a ball and you can't deal with it, guess what? You don't want to come in anymore. If you're playing doubles and you're the person in the net and you know, somebody rifles the ball, do you miss it? What do you think they're going to do? They're going to keep coming at you. So this is why this video is so important. So keys to um, managing balls that are uh, struck hard. First, we're going to go over, I think, what are uh, some of the big mistakes that players make so you understand what not to do. The first big mistake players make when they're trying to uh, uh, take or receive a ball that's coming really hard is they think of adding pace to a ball that already has pace, okay? We don't want to do that. There's enough pace on the ball, and we really want to focus on using the pace. I think of deflecting the ball. So think of it this way, a good analogy. If this was a mirror, okay, and obviously we're outside, and all I want to do is take the mirror and deflect or reflect the sunlight to somewhere on the court. That's how we want to treat the racket face. Now all we're going to do is use the racket face to deflect the power on the ball. We don't want to try to add power. Second to make sure it's really easy for us to deflect, reflect, however you want to phrase it, uh, the ball, is that we have to make sure we don't use a big swing. And this is probably the number one reason players have a uh, struggle with hitting a ball that's hit really hard at, at you when you're at the net. Now, what do I mean by swing? The swing should be very, very compact. And really, there is no swing. The only swing I consider in the volley for this type of shot is the hands moving forward, never moving back, and I will explain. So, when I come to net to hit a volley, I'm going to split step, really important, so I'm ready to move and load my weight on my outside leg depending on if I'm going to hit a forehand or backhand. We're going to talk about forehand in this video. So I'm going to split step so I can move my weight on my outside leg. This is the first thing. Now that I shift my weight on my outside leg, I can use the ground force to push through the volley. Now, how we're going to prepare the racket is that I split, shift my weight, and all I'm going to do is to use a slight shoulder turn, okay? If you really look at my racket, if it's here, and I just turn my shoulder, I haven't moved my racket, okay? If I'm back in ready position, look, notice that nothing's changed with my arm, okay? All I've done is turn my shoulder a little bit. From this point here, I'm gonna start preparing the racket face for where I want the ball to go. So, in this context, the ball will go cross court. So as the ball comes, I'm gonna start leaning forward with my weight on my outside leg and simply push forward. Very short swing. If I want the ball to go down the line, I'm going to do the exact same thing, outside leg. But as I start to push, I'm going to adjust my feet so it points me slightly uh, down the line. If you don't have time to do the feet, boom, I do the same thing. I turn the shoulders a little bit more, and then I go forward. You can see how there's no backswing in my hands. I'm not going, okay? You see how I use my hands there? I'll do it again. I'm not taking the racket back with my hands. I'm simply turning my shoulders and pushing forward. The big mistake a lot of players make, again, is that they think they have to take their hands back. And then by that time, a couple things have happened. You've made the swing bigger, and you're not aligned to use the ground force to push through the ball. And that sounds like, what? Ground force push through the ball? Well, think about it. If I want to push on you, I have to have everything aligned here to push, okay? So if I'm pushing forward, look where my hand's going to be in relationship to my shoulder and my body. Now, guess what? If I want to push cross court, uh, or sorry, if I want to push down the line, I'm going to turn my shoulders, or if I'm going to push towards you, I'm going to turn my shoulders and push towards you. This is the same action we want to use when we're volleying. Compared to most people are just moving their hand, but they're trying to push forward. Well, my hand's over there. So even if I am trying to push forward over here, I have nothing behind it. So hopefully that makes sense. But what we're trying to do is really turn the shoulders and push forward, okay? Give you a couple examples. Now, obviously, this ball's not going to be hit as hard as I want it, but it has the same effect. So when the ball comes, I'm simply going to turn. And you can see how that ball came to my body. And still, I'm really focusing on keeping my swing really compact. You can tell how my rack is not going back. I'm really focused on small swing. Small swing, OK? That is the key, small swing. You notice how I shifted my weight a little bit different to get the ball to go down the line. So that is the key to making sure you can deal with balls that are hit really hard making sure that I'm just simply turning my shoulders, shifting my weight, and I'm pushing forward. I'm not taking my hands back, okay? 
So make sure if you like this video, give me a like, leave a comment below if you have any questions. And if you want more great free videos just like this one, check me out at TotalTennisDomination.com. This is Kevin Garlington. Go out and play tough.